Hi, it's me, Garrett, from Port Monkeys. And today we are on the beautiful Diamond Princess. All right, Diamond Princess was built in about 2004 in Japan by Mitsubishi. So, um, it's like seven o'clock in the morning, but we had a time shift forward. So most of the ship feels like it's six o'clock in the morning still. Anyway, we're gonna take a long look at the Diamond Princess. We're gonna start the tour down on deck four, in the medical center, I'd like to show you that first. Uh, this is the Grand Plaza, not the Piazza, not anything else. Princess normally names this area Piazza, but this is called the Grand Plaza on this ship. You can see, I'm on deck five, there's deck six, there's deck seven up there. So, let's go down. Well, we're down on Gala Deck 4, and this is the medical center, right there. Of course, they're not open yet. They would open at 9 a.m., and so on. Remember, everything in there costs money. I mean, they might give you a free COVID test. And this is like backstage on a ship. You, may, you might get on the tenders here. You might get on the gangway here same on that side he's going for a ride so let's go back up so we're back in the Grand Plaza where we started and I'm gonna walk this way first this is the panoramic lifts the uh, glass elevators there's one on that side one on that side I'm gonna walk this way real quick around this bend try to get away from that music for one this ship has five main dining rooms five they're small but there's five of them and the Savoy is one of them let's walk inside it has this giant horse fish and this guy getting ready for the day and they all are about the same but see notice it only goes halfway across the ship and then you got windows on the outside over there is another dining room and up above me is another one and up above that one is one and then there's one way in the back of the ship so let's real quick walk across this is the starboard side the right side of the ship now we're on and it's the vivaldi and you might notice but it looks strangely similar, other than the statuary. Uh, it's a little bit lighter colored than that other place was, right next door, right through those mirrors. But this is it, Vivaldi. We're on uh, the starboard side of deck five. And right here is the future cruise people. See that? And then the internet cafe. Okay, we're back out where we started here, see? And then is the library. And this ship actually has a library. And people are working on puzzles here. You know, anybody who wants to come. Um, books. Wake show, word puzzles, Sudoku, pick those up every morning. It does have books in the library, books, and it has a lot of games, you see that? And some of those have never been opened. So we're on a cruise to the Sea of Cortez, and the cruise director said this is only the fifth cruise since the ship came back after three years of absence. So. This is the captain's circle table, and somebody stands right there and answers questions. Um, over here, I'm going to talk louder. There's the fine arts gallery. Well, let's take a quick look at it. So the music is interfering with the video, but it goes back. And then there's cabins on both sides. So deck five has cabins forward. Now we're headed aft again and crossing over from starboard to port and this is the shore excursion desk and like I say it's early so there's nobody here 
and this is Good Spirits at Sea, and um, this is where you can get specialty coffee in the morning. And there's hardly anybody here, but that's it. That's it. So let's go upstairs. We're now on the port side of Fiesta Deck 6 um, midship. That's the Grand Plaza. That's Deck 7 up there. This is the Diamond Princess service desk, guest services. They're very helpful there. I'm crossing back over to port now. And these are the shops of Princess. Not all of them, but some of them. So we have a coach store. or something called Limelight. I guess that's really the name of the store. We're headed aft now. More Limelight. And this is the Santa Fe dining room. And there's somebody guarding it today, this morning. Hi. Good morning, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Just gonna have a look quickly. All right. Santa Fe dining room. And it's a little bit different than the others. Now that I go in them all, I notice huge differences. Like, this is stone. I mean, I guess if it was Santa Fe, it should be Adobe. Anyway, let's go across. So, this is Pacific Moon Dining Room over here, and that's the dining room I eat at. I don't know if I can go to one of the others. I haven't tried. I may try, because there's a big line out here every night. Okay, now I see the differences in all four of them. And they're having a meeting, so we're just gonna be in here really quick and then get out. So, mirrors, another dining room on the other side, another dining room below us, and windows. All right, we were in the Pacific Moon dining room. Of course, they post the menu at, outside all the dining rooms and in the buffet. And this is uh, Essence. So, perfume, I don't know what else. We're headed forward now on Fiesta Deck 6, port side. Um, and we are entering the Grand Casino. And it's kind of a small casino and it was packed last night. And it kind of smells like smoke. So if that bothers you, I don't know if there's a non-smoking section, but just it starts out there, it starts smelling like smoke. So you can see they have roulette, blackjack, uh, back craps table. They've got some snacks laid out here for you. Um, several slot machines. Like I say, I don't, I don't see an area that says no smoking, but I don't think it would matter because it smells like cigarettes where I'm standing. Now I noticed that there are cabins on the other side of that wall. So, if you want to be on deck six, that's your cabin. We're on the starboard side, heading forward. This is the Grand Casino. And this is one of the entrances to the Princess Theater. And before I get in there, let me just show you Churchill Lounge. Now, it used to be Churchill Cigar Lounge, but they don't call it that anymore. And I'm gonna just walk through it. And it smells like cigars still and there's all these fancy chairs bar it's very dark so now we've just crossed from starboard to port and let's go in to the princess theater remember we're on deck six and if you enter the theater on deck six you have to go upstairs if you enter the theater on deck seven you have to go upstairs so there must be a way to get in here without going on stairs, right? But it's a big theater, uncrowded, good sight lines, no poles. There's the stage. I don't think they let people sit up here, but people do sit here on both sides. But you would have to be early, trust me. <laughs> so, and that's the door leading out of deck seven. We'll look at that later. Let's go back out this way. Try, 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 try
it's like, ooh, some lovely ladies. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, gentlemen, for bringing the lady. Manly. <laughs> I'm not a freaking button. You're like a sheep in the Airlines try to make you feel good by assigning every status a precious metal. Right? You know, there's platinum, silver, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They go all the way down the metals till they get to my level. <laughs> Aluminum foil preferred. Right? <laughs> Leaving the Princess Theater, Churchill Lounge there, heading aft again. They have these handy maps throughout the ship. Here's where I'm at. Hearts and Minds, that's the chapel. Push. <laughs> and this is all it is. Um, not sure what these rooms are. <laughs> oh, private function. Storage. Anyway, they got a TV. They could have meetings in here or whatnot. They have hand sanitizer. And out here. And now we're back to the casino. So that's pretty much deck six. Let's go up to deck seven through the Grand Plaza. I went back to the Grand Plaza. That's deck five down there. That's deck six. And that's deck seven that we're headed up to. We're on the port side, and this is facets, or faucets, depending on how you want to say it. We're going to save heading aft for a few minutes. This is Meridian Bay. So here's Meridian Bay. We're going to walk that way in just a moment. Crooner's Bar. Everybody wants to know where Crooner's is? Here it is. Um, different ships have different layouts, of course, but this is Crooner's Bar. Now, and of course, here's the Grand Plaza, because deck seven is the deck where everything happens, you might say. Of course, there's your officers, Sophie. Met the captain last night. There's the steering wheel. I don't see the captain, but this is the wheelhouse bar. The wheelhouse bar, and it has a pretty good sized dance floor. I don't know what people are looking for. A band plays there every night, pretty much. And it's big and it's got these nice chairs. I love the wheelhouse bar. When we were on the Grand Princess, this is where they had trivia. But on this ship, they have trivia somewhere else. So, 
And so we headed forward. And we're just outside the Princess Theater again. And so let's walk in. Remember I said there's stairs on both floors that you have to walk up. So I'm thinking maybe there's an elevator or a way to not have to walk up. I guess there are pillars, but they're not blocking seats really. So there's the stage down there, sound booth, and a lot of seats. Let's head back. So I guess if you're in a wheelchair or a scooter or something, there's the theater. There's a ramp on deck seven. There's a ramp. There you go, here's the elevators. All right? Stairs, crossing over. Now we're on the starboard side. Deck seven, promenade deck. This is where you would go outside if you wanted. We'll go out later. So here's the wheelhouse bar. We walked through it on the way up and now we're gonna walk around it on the way out and there's more seating out here and another one of the princess shops. And this is Calypso Cove. And this is where they have a lot of the stuff you forgot. Sunscreen, toothpaste, candy, and princess logo stuff, Stanley Bears, and of course liquor, remember? They're gonna hold that for you. You can't drink it on board. The real love boat. So now we're back out to the Grand Plaza. There's faucets over there and this is Crooner's Bar over here. Now we're gonna walk past Crooner's Bar. Look upside down peace signs. Anywho, this is where they have trivia. This is the Explorer's Lounge, right? And they're playing some music here. So we're just gonna go on by, but let's cut in here. Uh, looks like they're about to have an art show or they just had an art show. Although it's morning, so. But there's the Explorer's Lounge. It's, it's pretty big, but it's more uh, seating to watch something, if you know what I mean. The wheelhouse bar, the seats are all cattywampus, Explorers. When you pass Explorers, you come to the photo and video center. And this is Kai Sushi. Kai Sushi. And it's sushi a la carte. Look at that. I think that's weird, huh? I mean, not weird in a bad way. There's the menu. Let's take a quick look in. So this is a la carte. You, you pay for what you eat. You don't eat anything, I guess you don't pay. Right? All right. And so that'll be sushi in there. And big table there, if you got a big group. So there's Kai Sushi. This is the Platinum Studio. That's hard to read, but... This is where you can have, have well, well, portraits like this taken for extra money. This is Sabatini's. And they're having sweet breakfast in here right now, so we won't go in. But this is Sabatini's, the Italian Trattoria. And so it's $25 per person cover charge. Um, I heard it was going up, but it hasn't yet. So I don't know. This is Oceanfront. This is where you can get stuff for your uh, medallion. Now I bought that as a pack of four on Amazon for 10 bucks. It goes on my Apple Watch. Um, it's made for a dog collar, but it works great. Of course they come in four different colors. So one of them's pink, one of them's black. I think one of them's blue. Hi. We are at the aft elevators and stairs and this is the the things the awards i don't know the plaques you get on your inaugural port call to a port right here's more so different ships put them in different places that brings us to club fusion we'll go in here 
Um, I think they do Zumba in here in the mornings. Uh, of course, it's a nightclub, let's call it. I haven't actually heard of any events going on that I've attended. Uh, sometimes this is called the Vista Lounge on other ships. I will say that there's this stairway leading down to the Wakeview Bar. But it's had this rope across it the whole time. So maybe at night it opens up. I'll try to get down there and show you. You can see tables and chairs around there. And then it opens up that way. So, Club Fusion. Big dance floor, right? So we're heading forward again on the port side. I need to show you one more thing here on deck seven. So here's more of those maiden call plaques and things. I mean, Wakayama Shimotsu port gave them that. Um, you can get out here. You can get out over there. But what you can't do is go forward on the port side of deck seven. You can only move up and down the starboard side of deck seven, right? Goes all the way down to the theater, all the way forward, all the way out. That's the back. Club Fusion is the back of the ship. But you could only do that on the starboard side, not the port side. Look at this. They got their pictures on the plaque. I will say, if you go down these stairs, so this is the aft stairwell, you get to the international dining room. So I came down on the stairs. Fiesta Deck 6, and this is the international dining room, and this is where they do breakfast and lunch, if they're doing breakfast and lunch, so on sea days and whatever. Um, and it is the fifth and final main dining room, and it goes from side to side all the way across. It's not split in half like all the others. So, breakfast and lunch in here, and I guess dinner. So that's it for five, six, and seven. Here's the aft stairway and elevators. We're outside Club Fusion again. Um, I want to take you outside. So this is deck seven, starboard side, aft. You can get outside at several places around the ship. This is just one of them. And they set up these deck chairs with cushions every morning, put them away at night. So, this is one of the ships where you can actually get all the way around the ship. This is, might be of interest to you. This ship was built in 2004 by Mitsubishi. So, in order to go all the way around this ship, you need to walk upstairs, cross the front, and walk back down the stairs. So this is going to take us up to deck eight outside the theater and if you go two and a half times around it's a mile so let's go up now the wind is uh, going to be an issue up here and I don't have uh, my external microphone on here so I just won't talk Okay, now I'm going to talk. This is the very front of the ship. Opposite this box. So. Let's continue on around. Of course, on this side, you have to go back downstairs. So, stairs are right back there. Now we're heading aft on the port side. And this is a, you know, good sized ship. So this is a long walk. Like they say, two and a half times around is a mile. Promenade deck seven. So this is where we went out, but on the other side of the ship there. 
Club Fusion is right there. And we are almost at the back. So this would be Club Fusion through these windows. I don't know if you can see it in there. Life jackets. And it's 8 o'clock in the morning. So the sun's just come up recently. And here we are at the very back of the ship. And that's our wake. And that's the sunrise. Crossing back over to starboard. So, as you can see, you can go all the way around the ship. That's the back of the ship. We've crossed back over to starboard. This is a smoking area. So, unfortunately, if you're going to walk laps, you have to walk through it. And this is where we came out, and this is where we're going in. And I'm on Dolphin Deck 9, and whoop, look at this. I found me a duck. And thank you, Mitchell family from West Jordan, Utah. I'm going to rehide this later. I just need to show Janet. So we came up to Lido Deck 14. Decks 8 through 12 are just cabins. Lots of cabins and laundromats, self-serve laundries. Um, all princess ships have self-serve laundries. Another feature of princess ships is self-serve laundromats. And this ship has one on all the decks that have cabins, or at least most of them. And I've never seen one with two doors before. It goes all the way across to the other side. Four dryers, four washers, four ironing boards, four irons, and another four washers and dryers. Sinks on both sides. This is um, for detergent. Tokens. So, should be wash is $3, dry is $3, and um, snuggle and detergent are $1.50, as you can see. So, you hold your uh, medallion up there, I'm not going to do it, and you touch what you want, the tokens come out, and you lay them in here to buy the detergent. Over here, you put them in the slot. And then this is controlled, see it says $3. We're on it means it's broken, not working. Just so you know, somebody has left their stuff in here. Anyway, now on the irons, that's how you turn it on. They've got timers. Um, as far as water in them, I would use distilled, but I guess you get sink water. Although ship water is filtered, so maybe that's good enough. So that only brings up the issue. Oh, that's the dryer on top and the washer and bottom. If they're all being used, but one of them has ended their cycle, do you take the clothes out so you can put yours in, or do you leave them? What do you do? But we're forward and there are cabins here forward cabins so let's head aft Morning. hi we of course are on the port side and we have to go out these doors and we're at the pool area this is Neptune's reef and pool and this is Prego pizzeria so they have free pizza here for you. And this is the Mermaid's Tail Bar. See the sign? And I guess they're not open in the morning. Although they're all set up for Bloody Marys, right? And this is the Trident Grill. Hamburgers, hot dogs, on some ships, lobster rolls. I don't see it on here. This is also free, also included. And you could also get to it. You know, the elevators are right down there. So 
let's take a look at the pool and they're playing some loud music so I'm gonna not dwell here and I guess this could be all wet see how the water is flowing through here and I don't think you can play on the dolphins but maybe this is where movies under the stars happens right on that big screen up there welcome back no jumping or diving I believe the writing above the no jumping or diving says no jumping or diving in Japanese remember this ship was built in Japan so we're on the starboard side we're on the starboard side and this is swirls soft serve ice cream not serve yourself ice cream swirls chocolate and vanilla so uh, for bowls they use little paper cups so I got a cone <laughs> lots of towels there's towels on all the chairs this is the glass elevators and the other elevators and the stairs are through there but we're not going there we're gonna go in the buffet and it's after 8 a.m. now so it's gonna be pretty busy oh but first we're going to have another pool. So this is the Calypso pool. It's getting pretty crowded here this morning. And it looks like that. And it has a shelter over it. See that? And it's one of those ones that looks like it could roll away. I don't know. It's been closed on our whole cruise. So this is Calypso, and that's the Calypso bar over there. And there's a hot tub on each side. That brings us to Horizon Court. This is the ship's buffet. And they only open one side at a time, you might say. So this looks empty. But they've just opened it, so they've just put food out here and opened up. I'm going to take you for a quick stroll in the food. It's breakfast, remember. Mmm, salmon. This is what they're calling bacon. So, two kinds of sausage, eggs, steaks, vinegar, and so on. <laughs> Let's head to the back. We just walked through there, and now here's another section of it. And this is the Sterling Steakhouse at night. So this becomes the steakhouse. It's $29 a person, I think, still. Although it's still going up. You can get coffee, hot water, tea. There's about six or eight of those stations placed strategically around the ship. So I'm walking through what will be Sterling Steakhouse. And we are getting to the back of the ship. In fact, that's the back of the ship right there. Let's go outside. It's going to be a little windy here. I'm going to walk all the way to the back, so you can see the back of the ship. Of course, we're on Diamond Princess, and that's our way. It's the same on that side. And of course, here you can go up. That's the Izumi Japanese baths, or part of it. It's inside there, up on deck uh, 15. This is the terrace pool, and if you were on Deck 12, which is down below here, there's a doorway at the very end of the hallway that you can come out to the terrace pool. Oh, well, there it is right there. See that? So if you get a cabin, Deck 12 aft, there's doorways leading out to this pool area. Yeah, I have a cabin on Deck 12. And you go all the way aft. You can get out this back door and you're at the pool. Look at that. 
and the buffet is right up there right and that's the terrace pool bar let's cross back over to port so this bar is called the outrigger bar and it's not open yet either um, these stairways and there's a lot of stairways if you go up certain ones some they have blocked with chains this leads to a zoomie so i guess that's why they got it blocked but way up there is skywalker's lounge we'll go up there in a minute so this is this is a little more like it for the buffet right this is what you expect when you get up here but there are lots of tables still so both sides are open now let's go up to deck 15. we are on deck 15 aft it's the sun deck and this is the beach house for teens teen center hi how you doing i'm good how are you guys fabulous and a big TV, karaoke, couches, ping pong, foosball, and a bar. But I bet they don't serve alcohol. We don't serve alcohol. It's just been verified. And over on this other side is Camp Discovery for all other children kids, whatever you want to call it. I guess this is all the other ages. Oh, hi. hi how you doing? Pretty much the same. Oh, lots of Minecraft though. Have a good cruise. Have a good cruise. In between is a Zumi Japanese bath. And it's a pretty secretive place, isn't it? So I'm not going to go in there. They asked me if I wanted a tour and I didn't. But I will say that they have water here. And they have automatic doors. This is the pool I showed you from outside, the Japanese bath. So you have to pay for this. And I believe they said it was $2.49 a week. And you get to use it as much as you want. And there's like smaller baths through these doors. Right? Right. Changing rooms. So Izumi Japanese bath was there, Camp Discovery. We're gonna go out this door. Because to go forward, we have to go outside. Of course, you can't go that way. Uh, starboard side of deck 15 now. That's Skywalker's nightclub up on deck 18. We'll get up there in a minute. But first, let's walk forward. So we came out there, there's baffles, wind baffles, let's call them. It's windy and cold, you're probably picking up wind noise right now. This is the conservatory. And the conservatory is just an area above the indoor pool. See that? So there's the indoor pool. And this is the conservatory. So it's got these fancy lounge chairs. Of course, that has fancy lounge chairs, you know, with pads. Let's go back. And this door propped itself open when I came through it. Let's close it. And then it slammed shut. <laughs> anyway, I say the conservatory has fancy lounge chairs because the normal lounge chairs are just these, no pads, right? Uh, and we are back out to the outdoor pool and the big screen is right here All right movies under the stars let's head more forward so there's the pool Neptune's pool and this is the trade winds bar and let's go through here where it's blocked, see that? So we have to go back inside. Let's walk over here. There's the bridge. You know where they steer the boat from. I don't know why we're blocked from going out here. But we're blocked from going out here. Maybe it's the wind. That's wrong, but anyway. And in here, 
is the spa. Uh, hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. We'll call this the Lotus Spa. And it's like spas, you know, they do services. They work on you. They make you feel better. And they do hair. So a beauty salon too. There's two things about the spa that are important. Number one, it goes all the way around. And number two, it brings you to the Lotus Pool, adults only. So you're welcome to use this. You don't have to pay for the spa. You can even get to it from another way. You don't have to even walk in here. Another thing is this is the fitness center. So this is the only way in. Well, I mean, there's more ways in, but they're all through the spa, right? So this is the fitness center and it goes all the way around there and there's like a little room for classes over there and there's also a door that leads to outside now remember that was blocked down there but now i'm outside in the same part i could walk up to that gate so i don't know that that door wasn't blocked it wasn't locked This is the bridge, Jack, and it's pretty windy out here, but they do have a gate across it. So I'm not going to go up there. On some ships, <laughs> that wind is pretty, pretty severe. On some ships, they call that Monkey Island. The crew does. My shirt is blowing up. So it was windier than I thought it would be. And it's locked down there, and I don't know if there's an entrance on this side. So I'm going to have to walk back through there. Remember the spa and the gym are in there. Let's go up. So we're going up to deck 16, and I don't know how much of it is going to be closed. This brings you to the sanctuary. It's a area where you pay to have really fancy lounge chairs and good service. That's the pool again, the Lotus Pool. The spa is on either side. The, the fitness center is back there. This is the bell. Doesn't ring very well. This is a photo spot. Okay, did you take a picture? And in case you forgot that it's a sanctuary, they put it on all the towels. So this is $40 a day, or at least it is on other ships. $20 a half day. Uh, I'm sure they have weekly prices. I don't know. Cabanas are about $200, $220 or something. So these are massage tables though, I think. So maybe they don't have cabanas on this one. This is a small sanctuary compared to some ships. And some ships don't have one. So there's Monkey Island again. It goes all the way across, you know, the bridge is right below it. But that's the sanctuary. I have never paid and stayed up here. And honestly, I've never seen anybody up here. But I don't get up here. <laughs> I got no business being up here. Let's continue. If you come around here, there's where they do movies under the stars. There's these two stairways, one on each side. So, leading up to this deck, And then another one leading up to this little half deck. Right? Now I'm guessing they don't put any lounge chairs up here or anything. You can get a better look at the sanctuary. Boy, we are heading right into the sun. But they do have lounge chairs for this area and I guess if it weren't so windy and cold, they would have those out.
So the pool is on 14. Those lounge chairs and the green grass are 15. That's 16. So I'm guessing this is deck 17. And that's not listed on the map. But I call it 17 and a half. Let's go down. Okay, so there are more decks up across the way, but you have to go down to 15 to go back up to them, right? Just like on mini ships. On deck 15, we were just right up there. This is the Trade Winds Bar again. That's the smoking area right there. So this is the Neptune Reef pool. This is the screen for movies under the stars. And if we walk around here, right behind the screen is a stairway. And it goes up to the golf links. And this is probably the only way to reach it, although there's probably a lift somewhere, like down there, up there. Um, well, this is an interesting one. And this says it has nine holes. Princess ships always have eight holes for some reason, but these are actually marked. Um, normally it's just all grass up here, but it's like patio. And here's some clubs, and I'm guessing balls. Yep, Princess Lynx on sports deck 16. Let's go back down. So we're on the port side. Here's the conservatory again. Remember there's a swimming pool in there on the deck below. We're gonna head up to their Skywalkers. Pool is back there, down at deck two. We've got some stairs here. We're gonna go up. And there are a lot of stairs in the back of the ship. You should know that. More stairs. You can't walk along there. We're going to get out to where you can see the terrace pool. This is the aft elevator and stairway. This, of course, is shuffleboard. There's a hot tub here and a hot tub on the other side. More stairs. That's the Izumi. Izumu. Japanese bath. You, you got to pay for the Japanese bath to be able to go in there. So, lounge chairs out here. This is not a, this is the Oasis bar, but I think they don't use it maybe. But let's go up. That's Skywalkers up there. There's Skywalkers. And you can get to it through that door. I'm not going to go in there quite yet. The sports court is closed between 5 and 7 p.m. So I'm going to go up these stairs. Remember I said there was a lot of stairs. And this is the sports court. Now there might be an elevator that leads up to here. But I don't see it here. Watch your step. But it's a kind of a basketball court. Oh, watch your step. There's a pipe right there. <laughs> Pickleball. Yay. Basketball, soccer balls, a uh, little goal, a couple of them. Net. Hoops. I don't think they ever put lounge chairs up there. They could, but they'd have to bring them up here. <laughs> don't forget to step over that pipe. Anyway, that's the sports court. On deck 19. We are back on sports deck 16. Came down all those stairs. Uh, you can walk. The Zumi pass holders beyond this point. See, they have even different and doubles um, loungers. <laughs> the other word. But you can come up this way if you want. Okay. Anyway, let's go inside and go up to Skywalkers. Remember, we came from that way originally. Here's the shuffleboard court. 
It's pretty windy now, uh, but I was able to open that door. So we're on Sports Deck 16, and I just wanted to show you, this is the elevator, Bobby, on Deck 16, aft. Skywalker's Nightclub. And it has an escalator going up. How crazy is that? Captain Circle special event. Private function. That must be for me. goes over there and there's a bar there uh, in the evenings we have the elite party up here and they have food over here on this side every night five to seven on this ship but this is Skywalker's nightclub so from the beautiful Diamond Princess somewhere off the coast of Loreto Mexico this is Gareth from Port Monkeys and I just want to say, it's a great ship, great crew. I really, really like my time on here. We spent two weeks. Um, it does need an international cafe or something like that. Some way to get a snack when you're down on decks five, six, and seven. And coffee, free coffee. Anyway, so. I guess I'll see you in the next port. Bye. I want to take a moment to show you one of the public restrooms. This is the men's. Paper towels, sink, urinals stall, toilet, seat protectors. I don't remember seeing seat protectors on other cruise ships, but the Diamond Princess has seat protectors. Let's take a look at the ladies. So two stalls and a bidet. See the controls there? Let's get out of here and go look next door. So, that was a women's restroom. This is a handicap restroom, or accessible. Has a phone, seat protectors, but a bidet. So it has these controls. And honestly, You can aim that around somehow. Water temperature. So, now I don't know how to turn it off. That wasn't it. Huh. Okay. So, Enjoy. He joined his wife, and his wife's probably about 89 years old. And he sat down with her, but he only had this one meal and one drink. So I watched him for a little while longer. He then cut the burger in half, split the fries in half, and then poured half of the drink into a, a separate cup. And I watched him as he passed it over to his wife. And then for a few minutes, he just sat and watched as his wife began to eat. And I was just like, I wonder why he's not eating. So I waited a little bit longer, and then I walked over to him and I said, Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, I think it's, you know, very sweet, very romantic of you to let your wife eat first. But I just wanted to know why, why you aren't eating right now. And he looks up at me and he goes, It's her turn with the teeth. <laughs> <laughs>